I'm Gemini Singles. I was never going to press record. I was fiddling as usual. So it's going to be 99 hours before you got to read. But I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Okay. So I'm doing Gemini Singles first. I'll do couples next. Um, this is for the collective that watched me and for the cross watchers. Um, you must be single and you must be a Gemini. You can have Gemini on your birth chart for this to resonate. It's two as you like. North Node, Rising, Sun. Um, what else I was going to say? This is a timeless read. So Spirit wants you to know whenever you get the messages, you're supposed to get it. If it does not apply, you let the shit fly out the window. Everything is not for you. It could be for another Gemini that's watching. Um, so take what resonates all the rest of the way. Um, to cash out me a donation or to book me for a personal read. It's in the description box on my page. I'm seeing the word thinking of you. Thinking of you. Um, somebody can't take their eyes off of you. Oh, wow. ah! You'll be like having a touch. They want to hold you so much. I don't know who the hell this is. Oh, shit. Y'all have past love. I know somebody pissed off, right? Don't cuss me out. Shit, the car flew. Oh, look. Look look who it is with one, two, three on the clock. Somebody like, this is fucking heifer. It's, it's the divine masculine. You must not be talking to his ass. He watching, though. Okay, look. So, I'm going to do four cards from this deck. And then, I'm going to get two card confirmation for each card, okay? Yeah, you be like, having a touch. Oh, goodness. I feel like somebody's pouring warm syrup on me. I know that sounds real funny. If I was a pancake, it's like, yeah, they just want to wrap you in a warm blanket, like a tortilla. It's real weird. Yeah, this is the your divine masculine. And flip this. Remember, you can take it as it resonates. It could be... It could be a man watching this, and this could be a divine feminine, just because it's the masculine card. You know what I mean? My readers have no sex order, so it don't matter. Man or woman, flip it. Okay, let me keep going. Hold on, y'all. I'm seeing birds. I'm seeing doves. Oh, they're listening to music. Music therapy. <clears throat> I just say obsession. Must have indulgence. Yeah, they're watching you. Oh, goodness. It's a lot of sexual tension. And there's some gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. Remember, I'm going to go back and get confirmation of why these cards came out. Okay, you got writing, diary, keeping notes, journal. Final card at the bottom of the deck. Trash. Disregard. Throwing away. Someone played you like a piano. Either he played you or you played him. But there's something about playing games. Somebody said you think this shit's a game. I don't I don't know if that's you or them. Oh, okay. And they feel like they on a time schedule with three or three on the clock. Something about communication. And if they don't come in with communication by a certain time. Okay, now I'm seeing Chris Brown chucking up the deuces. Hold on. Divine masculine. Gemini single. Why is divine masculine here? <clears throat> divine masculine. Oh shit. Because he in balance. He he, he he flipped over with 327 in the clock. He, he not himself, y'all. Whether it's a man or a woman, this person is very, uh, not they're not stable without you. They're very temperance is in reverse. You know, there's some type of indulgence they could have been suffering from. Porn, drugs, alcohol, sex, karmic, take it as it resonates. There's something that's something bad that the masculine or feminine is indulging in as they weren't supposed to. It also could be a Sagittarius. This is a temperance card. So this is the Sagittarius card. So this person is impulsive. I didn't even, I didn't even, um, that is not what I meant to say, but I feel like they're impulsive because now I feel like I'm fidgeting, but they're impulsive. Oh yeah. They was had something from you with the moon at the bottom of the deck. This is a uh, cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. The moon is deception. No matter which way it's facing, there's some illusion. Mm. The masculine is suffering from type of illusion. I feel like they're dreaming about you and this is some type of deception. Somebody could be deceiving them in their energy. I feel like they're being deceived. Um, and they're frustrated that they're not having a fresh start with you. You got the ace of wands in reverse. This is one to move forward, but not doing a damn thing about it. Okay, it could be a fire sign again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You could be dealing with a, a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Scorpio as well. If it's not, it's in their birth chart. The temptress is also... I feel like the, the, the imbalance is the deception. 
the lies, the treachery, the fuckery. Whatever this person was hiding from you and you didn't know about, and I feel like it caused some type of argument or either they arguing with somebody that's just like a perspective and some type of discord. So, let me keep going. And I want two more cards, Spirit, for the mask. I need to know two more things. Two more cards. Gemini single. Two more cards for the masculine. Divine masculine. Oh my God, I'm hearing Carl Thomas uh, emotional. What's the theme? I don't even know the name of the song. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, he's like singing in. Say goodbye. Yeah. Six of Cups. This motherfucker's in remnants. Yeah. The, the King of Cups. This he. Oh, this is really. Um, okay, we quit laughing. I am such an asshole. This is what they ass get though, because I feel like they did you wrong. I don't know why. I just like I feel like karma came and served their ass. You got the tower in reverse. Whatever this is, they was trying to avoid. Okay, the map with five, five, five on the clock. Okay, this is chaos, crisis. Somebody had you in competition. This motherfucker's unstable now. The tower has fell on their ass. It's in reverse. This is somebody was trying to hold on. You know, they was like, okay, I don't want the tower to fall, but they whole world falling apart. I feel like they got some financial issues and they emotionally fucking upset about. Doing you dirty, and now they feel like they can't redeem themselves. I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. This is avoiding a tragedy. They tried to avoid this fall because they didn't want you to know about it. And I feel like somehow some of you know about it. It's resistance to a change and some type of uh, delay of the inevitable. Because it's at the bottom of the day. But yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing Carl Thomas, so I, I don't know. And then I'm also seeing the Carl Thomas video with Faith Evans, and I think that's a whole other song. So I'm getting two different songs from Carl Thomas. But the Six of Cups is definitely um, sitting up thinking about the past. And then you got the King of Cups. Yep. Stuck in their head. Real sad. Yep. This is like emotionally immature. Don't know how to even express their emotions. So you probably think this person don't need to give a damn. But it's all a, a act. This is a, a con man. This is a affair with a married man. So either you might be married or they married. Somebody married in this situation. Oh, my God. Every time I do a read, my sister come up. Once again, I'm going to have to tell you, this is Lucretia. Okay, let me keep going. Okay, it says a fair with a married man. It says a cheater. It says manipulation. It says, yeah, this is a lot. The, the reading. Okay, the King of Cups is, even if y'all not dealing with a married man, this is a person that is not emotionally stable or can't offer you type, no type of uh, emotional support in this connection. They're connected to a karmic or either you're connected to a karmic. Yeah, it's a lot of confusion going on with this situation. And then, however, you still got the Six of Cups. So I feel like you've been dealing with this person for a long time. It's been a lot of shit. This is like, uh, this person is very immature. The masculine. Okay, let me keep going. They lying about something, too. Okay, let me keep, oh, oh, I've been talking to y'all too long. I always do that. I'm at eight minutes. <laughs> Hold on. Obsession. Must have indulgence. Somebody's thirsty for you. It's a magician in reverse. This is a mastermind. Whoever this is tries to uh, mind manipulate you. I did a video on mind manipulation yesterday. So if you want to get deep about it, every time I tell somebody the magician in reverse in the deck is not. This person plays fucking games. They kind of like to set the fire and watch the shit burn down. Or they like, um, their woe is me. This is a victimized card to me. This is the person that's obsessed with you. The Wheel of Fortune. There's a karmic. I just said it was a fucking karmic. The Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The obsession. The Four of Cups is um, this is them in some type of regret. Okay, about uh, like despair. Um, they're bored with their current situation, or either you're bored with this motherfucker. Okay, I feel like maybe there's a focus on the negative, and there's a uh, someone daydreaming. It's the a nostalgic energy. Nostalgic. That's what I'm picking up. I'm hearing the word nostalgic. Nine one one just popped up on the clock, so I feel like um, the coochie's wet or the dick's hard. You know, they're ready to go with nine one one. This this person's ready to fuck you. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. So I'm, I'm click off if you don't like my potty mouth because it's a potty fucking mouth. But yeah, there's uh, the wheel of fortune. So the thing about the wheel of fortune. <clears throat> It's still the devil's energy, which still can come out because the Wheel of Fortune gives me a, a feel of a karmic, okay? A bad luck, bad, bad, bad cycle with this person. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is a cycle that really needs to fucking come to an end, okay? This is like a, a force of something, lack of control. And I feel like um, the Hermit in reverse is um, a Virgo. This is a person that um, you could be dealing with. 
that um, they're withdrawn, um, sometimes antisocial, and they're always paralyzed by fear. But this is also the victimized card. And a hermit is um, spending too much time overindulgence with a person that is a karmic. And that could be a Virgo. That could be a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. <clears throat> Gossip. Gossip. Why is gossip here for? My Gemini singles. Gossip. I'm hearing yours being talked about. You're being, oh shit, I just, it's, it was 10, um, 1027 when I looked up. You're being talked about. You're being talked about. You, you watching this, you're being talked about. Why is gossip here? Oh shit, okay. I asked why, I caught the card. So, 10 of cups. Oh shit. Okay. You being talked about. You could be being talked about by friends or family. Or either the person you dealing with is being talked about. About friends and family. I feel like somebody knows about the third party energy that is talking shit. Like, I don't know. That's what you get or that's what they get. It's a, it's a, that's what somebody get energy. You got the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is complete failure. So I feel like um, someone is supposed to be getting a divorce. Or like a break, broken home, conflict, abuse. Someone could have been keeping up for appearances. Like trying to act like everything's all good. But the relationship fucking sucks and it's over. You got the two of swords here. It is upright. That's uh, This is your energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Twos always stand for choices, partner, repairing, making decisions in tarot. So with two being swords, this is a mental decision. Someone wants to make a truce. Okay, there's a difficult decision. And the gossip, of it, the, okay, the gossip is that someone is torn between two relationships. So somebody is talking shit about somebody's being divided between loyalty, okay, or someone being caught in the middle. There's some gossip or some being caught in the middle. Okay, and then you got the journal, writing, journal. I, I'm getting, but I'm feeling like this is sending for a text message because I'm seeing a phone. I'm seeing a phone for keeping notes. So, this don't have to be a computer because that's, a, I mean, a, a, a um, typewriter. This, this is an old ass typewriter. So, this ain't what I'm, this is what's showing up on the card, but I'm seeing a phone or a tablet or a laptop. I don't know why, but let's see why. Uh, somebody's trying to text you or they're going to text you or you're going to text somebody. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the five of swords is conflict, chaos, crisis. Uh, this is, again, mental, trying to have mental clarity about something. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Fives are always about um, instabilities, okay? This is somebody that can have you in competition, especially if you're a single Gemini. There's some type of competition. This is a deception, somebody walking away, like, fuck you, I'm done doing this. This is like, an energy of you always dealing with a situation that self-sabotages your love life. I'm just going to keep it real. This is defeat. And I feel like that's what you feel like. So I feel like you are going to text somebody or either someone's going to text you about an ending. That's what I'm, and I feel like like somebody's going to be like, oh, you trashing me or you not fucking with me. And the Empress is like, um, you bossing up. You setting up for yourself. It's like good mother, good father. The Empress is... uh, Hold on. Thank you. Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus energy. This could be an earth sign. You could be in your earth energy. This is grounding yourself. This is like, um, yeah, standing up for yourself, making a bold move. And I also feel like you got the two of wands. That's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Something is um, a fear of change. As a There's an indecision that you're not making. So I feel like um, you want to make a decision, but you're conflicted or they're conflicted. The magician is manifesting. You're manifesting something positive. This is like having the best outcome. The, and being number one. This is something about you want to be number one with the magician. Yeah, and manifestation. Okay, let's see why trash is here. Someone plays you like a, a piano. And now I'm hearing um, Alicia Keys, what goes around, comes around. When she is down in the subway and she's playing the piano. So I feel like whoever this is, you feel like uh, you deserve. You get what you deserve. Or either... I hope they're not saying that's what you get, what you deserve. But somebody is reaping karma. I feel like it's a divine masculine that you're dealing with. Trash. And like I said, you, you're giving this person a deadline. There's some type of deadline. You're like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm seeing the downfall. You're like, you the devil's energy. This is Capricorn cancer energy. Like, I'm not. I'm putting my foot down. 
You got so long. Yep. Yep. Because you feel like you made a fucked up decision with the Seven of Cups. Okay. This, the Seven of Cups is a fucked up decision. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I feel like you and your emotions about this fucking decision. And I feel like the Seven of Cups is a reality check. It's like a poor, a poor choice. It's like a, you feeling trapped in this situation and you feel like it's trash. The Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a uh, Virgo towards Capricorn. This person could be a big liar. This is like thief, deception, gold digger, shady. Uh, someone staying married to someone for money. And this is a liar or a con artist. And that's why it's coming up as trash. Because whoever this is you're dealing with, you're giving them time to either leave another person. You're giving them time to come back. You're giving them time. So time is of the essence is what I'm hearing. You got... um. Now, on this TikTok um, deadline, running out of time card, this is uh, giving me Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So it's like you sitting and you thinking this is like clarity because water is all about clarity. So it's like a mental decision that needs to be made because you got swords earlier and then you got the sun. So the sun is here on this card because something was revealed to you. Either you made a snap judgment about something. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius too with the sun card. But the sun card is definitely um, something being revealed and you like having the truth open up. Talking about the truth. It's talking about a forbidden love and a tragedy. And trash. That's all that I'm getting. All that's what I'm getting. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, bitch, I ain't finna be stuck with you. You got me fucked up. Chariot in reverse is Sagittarius energy. This is like a stuck Sagittarius. Somebody like, yeah, I'm gonna make a move. I'm not gonna keep sitting here with you. I feel like you've been dealing with this shit for a long time. And you like, I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to do this no more. The chariot is, um, this person is holding you up. They're holding you back. This is definitely a forceful energy. This is um, lack of self-control and lack of direction. So I feel like you lack control of the situation because you give this person control. And you lack the direction that you're going in because you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. With. You don't know who you are in this situation. Yeah. Yeah, you have to find a source again in reverse. In reverse, it came right back out. It's like talk ends conflict. It's time to move on. Yeah. Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, this is healing and forgiving and moving forward. Someone's going to get the fuck on. You're like, I'm not going to be held up anymore. The hangman in reverse is someone that left you hanging. And you're like, I'm going to detach myself. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is uh, discontentment. Someone's not interested. And this is a negative pattern you've been stuck in for a long time. And I'm at 17 minutes. And I suppose I suppose in 10. And I'm done fucking with y'all. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Okay, y'all. This has been your love read, Gemini Singles. Um, click like, subscribe, share me. I'll be back to do Gemini couples next. And then I'll do Sagittarius, I think, and Aquarius. If you want to know the order I was going in, because I'm very behind. Okay, guys. And don't forget if you need to get a personal read or to cash out my donation. It's in the description box on my page. I am Phoenix Rising, and I'm, I'm out. And I'll see you guys in the next read. Bye.